We are Gavin and Emily, and after a year of having only weekends to work on our bus, we are finally able to start building full-time. This week, we're installing our cedar tongue and groove ceiling. It smells so good. Right? All that nice cedar. And taking every precaution to protect it against the possible moisture in the bus. You know what they say, better safe than a moldy ceiling. What's up, everybody? I have just unwrapped all of the cedar planking that we have for our ceiling inside the bus. So all of these individually wrapped packs of boards kind of generated a lot of plastic, but it seemed like a good way to buy it at the time. Now I'm going to take all of these boards and lay them out on two by fours, basically racks that I made so that they can acclimate to being outside. Now that they're unwrapped, we want them to sit in the garage here, which is gonna be kind of like sitting in the bus and they'll expand or contract as much as they will, hopefully in the next day or so that we leave them out here and then we'll be able to seal them and put them on the bus. Okay, I stacked all the wood. It's ready to dry. Yeah, it all fit. No problem. <laughs> They're so skinny. Oh, it smells good in here. Yeah, I kind of ran out of room on the floor, so I started putting them <laughs> wherever I could. <laughs> it smells so good. Right? All that nice cedar. Ooh, they're beautiful. We have to pick the pretty sides to be in the bus. Yeah, you, you can do that. I'm going to spend all day picking the pretty sides. I think both sides look the same. Yeah, but some are like that one's a little like yellower maybe. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> That's my favorite side. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> It's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this hey guys, it's Wednesday, so it's been a good three days since we opened our ceiling planks to let them acclimate to the temperature. I am at Home Depot right now, and I'm going to pick up some water-based polyurethane to seal those planks, and I'm going to spend the rest of the day sealing our ceiling. By you. So hold me tight through the night. So this is the polyurethane sealant that we're going with. It is a water-based interior, fastest dry time um, polyurethane. And it is going to seal the wood to protect it from any future moisture. Um, I'm going to seal the front and the back, the sides, the ends of every single plank. We want to keep the natural wood look of our planks, so that's why we're going with this clear polyurethane sealant. And it's just gonna add a little bit of gloss, um, but not change the color at all, hopefully. And yeah, we're not super worried about moisture coming through our bus ceiling since our spray foam should act as the major moisture barrier, but we do want to protect our wood as much as possible because you know what they say, better safe than a moldy ceiling. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I think it's just better in my mind to take every extra precaution you can to avoid any sort of water damage. So that's why we're going with this. I will link this and all the other things I use down below. If you guys have any questions, just drop them in the comments and we will let you know how it goes. Now get ready for 10 hours of me sealing. <laughs> this is what happens when you try to get a cool shot of pouring your stain. I'm gonna set a timer after I finish this first set of boards to see how long it gets me to get through, see how long it takes me to get through the first coat of all the panels, and then I'll know how long it'll take for the second and third coats, hopefully. Here we go.
it has almost been three hours and I'm not even done with the first coat on the first side of all the boards. So I still need to do the first coat on the other side of all the boards and then two more coats on both sides for all of them. So I'm gonna put the camera down for the rest of the day and try to crank out as much of this as I can and I'll pick you guys back up tomorrow and see how far we got. Good morning, last night after work, Gavin came out and helped me finish up the first coat on all the boards and then we were able to spend all night last night doing the second coat. It's getting to around 9.30, finally done. Rolling out all of the second coat for the second side of all of these. We got a pretty good system down. Gavin would take his long roller and roll out all the boards on the floor and then I could follow behind with the foam brush that I was using to kind of smooth out any texture that was left from the roller or get any spots that the roller didn't quite reach. Um, it worked pretty well. We finished the second coat and now this morning I'm gonna finish the third coat and then the boards will be ready to install. All right, so I know what you're all thinking. A guy finds a machete in the woods one time and he wants to use it for everything. First of all, that's absolutely true. But if you get it nice and sharp, it is a nice long blade that I can brace against the wood so I know everything is flush. And it's actually pretty good for shaving our insulation to where we're gonna want it put our ceiling in, so it's a good tool. Give it some credit. We still have just a lot of little patches all along the walls and around some of the ceiling where we want to get a little closer to where our ceiling will be able to be flush. So I'm just kind of taking this along, finding the spots that are sticking out more than we want them to. And just giving them a little slice. Time to install these boards. So I have never installed a tongue and groove ceiling before, but I've watched a couple videos and it seems fairly simple. So I think we can do it. We are going to start on the side of the bus and then work our way across the curve of the roof. Some people like to start in the middle, just so you have like a perfectly centered board down the middle of our bus. We're not super picky about that, and we think starting on the side will give us a nice even finish along the windows. And then as we work along the curve, hopefully we continue to be straight, but if we don't, the other side is gonna be covered by cabinets anyways, so it's okay if those boards are a little bit wonky once we get over there. So none of these boards are perfectly straight, our ceiling framing definitely isn't perfectly straight, so I'm not expecting it to be perfect, but I'm going to do the best I can to make sure the boards are all level as I install them, and we'll see how it goes. Also, shout out to Uncle Dan for letting us borrow his nail gun. This is my first time using a nail gun, and I'm pretty excited about it. quick break from ceiling panels and take you guys on an exciting errand. Sorry I didn't film very much in there, but I just got back from U-Haul. We are having them install a hitch on the back of the bus and they asked me to bring the bus by so they could get some measurements and see what parts they needed to order. The guy there was very confident that this hitch was going to be a super easy install. He said it would take less than an hour, so we just need to wait on those parts to come in. And they're going to call us and we're going to set up a time to do it. He also wanted to wait until it was a little bit warmer out because he said there was no way he was installing it in this weather, which I totally don't blame him for. Um, so I'm back in the driveway now and we can get back to work on the ceiling. So due to the curve of our ceiling at the base of the ceiling, 
Um, the second piece of tongue and groove and the third piece of tongue and groove aren't going to sit flush against our framing pieces. So we're just adding a little piece of two by two behind anywhere we're gonna be nailing them in so that this has something to nail against. Um, but by the time we get up to here, it'll be able to just nail straight into those framing pieces. This is just for the curve area here. I'm just going through, we've already done our first two rows here, but since our boards are pretty thin and there are some gaps between the spray foam in some places, especially along the curve, I'm just taking some random sort of insulation board we found in the garage and sliding some pieces behind it just so that it has a little bit more support, literally taking pieces and letting it support our boards here. So we've done our first one, two, three, four, five, five rows here and those should be the hard ones because that's where the curve is. So hopefully now we're going to fly across and just be able to slot them in and work across quickly. So snow squall's gone, just ate lunch, let's we're get ready. ready to rumble. We're going to get in the groove, Ooh. get it, <laughs> tongue and groove. <laughs> And the ceiling is not done. We're gonna save the big reveal for next week, so you guys are gonna have to subscribe so you can see our ceiling when it's done. Hopefully it's done by then. But progress has been picking up, we're moving quicker, but it is Saturday and Emily's gotta get this video out tomorrow, yep. so. So next week we'll show you guys how we trim our ceiling pieces to fit around where our lights are gonna go, and we'll finish the rest of our whole ceiling. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> That's the plan. Well, have a good week. That's it. Have a good week. Bye. Love, Love you. you. <laughs> <laughs>